mark. Get set. Go. All right, everyone show this? Yeah, this is the... Uh, Shut well, up, Jeff. It was going to be the ghost of Christmas future because the original plan was to have a child on set today. And we struck out. No one wanted to give us a kid for the day, which is a little bit surprising to me. But um, <laughs> I did try. We, we had an attempt. I think we struck out with about 10 children. And um, so anyway... Thanks, Jake. Gregson. Steering... Yeah. Every, all of you who didn't want to give us your cousins and everything. It's just whatever. Rude. But um, this is our classic resale challenge. It was going to be the Ghost of Christmas Future because we were going to be pitching to the youth of America, a.k.a. the future. Um, as it is, it's just a challenge. Number six and the final challenge, resale. Basically, we will each pitch our guns to Heidi. Heidi will then, based on the information she has received, tell us which gun she would be most likely to buy. The winner of that will receive 50 points and then 25 and then zero. Okay. Everyone, thanks for tuning in. Um, while you're here, maybe consider dropping us a little like, subscribe, comment, be nice. It's the holidays, be nice to each other. Um, we are gonna joke on this series, but be nice to each other. Uh, if you need any help real estate wise, you can go to 1911 Syndicate. You can look at all the cities that we operate in. We spread joy and goodwill to all cities that we do business in. So there is that. Um, if you need anything else, let us know. We've got some apparel on the site and all kinds of fun stuff, things like that. You want to start it off there, big fella? Oh, I'd love to. How you doing? Good, how are you? You having guys? a good day? Yeah, it's fantastic. Why are you in her space touching so, her for? Because we're friends. Me uh, and Heidi go way back. She's trying to bribe me already. She doesn't. Oh, no, no bribing here. The gun did the job for itself. Nice hugging. Okay. We have 197 yards here, max. Okay. 300. Max what? Max what? Max yards. Have you shot at that For far? distance, it says it in the instruction manual, Jake. Yours says 40, so no, shut up. I'm doing my not. pitch here. I'm doing my pitch here. You done? You done? <sighs> Go ahead. I think today, a couple reasons. Classic gun, right? Does this remind you of your yeah, childhood? It sure does. You wanted one when you saw Ralphie unbox it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. This also comes with a free Fragile leg lamp. Really? Don't Where's know if lamp? you knew that, Where's but the lamp? it's in the truck. It was part of the package deal. Really? It was included in the deal. Nice. Really Great nice. thing about this rifle is not only is it nostalgic, right? It has some beautiful mahogany. Go ahead and feel that. Take your gloves off. That, you're gonna want to feel that. Wow, that stock is yep, just. I mean, just beautiful craft. State of the art, almost. MDF. We got a loaded chamber indicator here, so you know you're ready to rock and roll all the time. Safety. This is more of a redundancy. I shot the iron sights all day, and I, I don't know if you saw how well we shot that distance challenge. But I it think actually uh, prove how you used it though. I think. Uh, I was impressed. Out of all this high tech shit that's got a suppressor and scopes. What did really well? Iron sights. Yep. Right? Another thing that's great about this little beautiful rifle is uh, how many rounds can your gun hold? A lot. What is it, 30? No. 30. 30? What about yours, 30? 30. 60, so, actually. I don't know if you 60. saw, but when I filled this up, it can hold 600 rounds. Really? 600. 600 BBs Where's that? that? 600 yeah, where rounds. Is that it is on the box. Did you see so, relax. In okay? There? Not Earlier. 600. It is 600. It says it on the box. More than 30. Yeah, I'm not joking. This whole tube holds them. It's 600 BBs. Heidi, I trust your, your judgment, but that what I'm I would never do here. anything to Sorry, insult I'm you, pitching this. but 600. What I'm getting at here is not only is it a beautiful piece of machinery and firearm here, the Indian who used it, right? Indian arrow, uh -huh. right? Up the value of this. Hey, real quick. My beard was on the stock. <laughs> My glistening, beautiful I, I beard. I want you to look behind you and just keep in mind for later those young people running over there. I want to keep, keep that the in mind. The beard so. that you always compliment me on yes. grace this stock. Wow. And I believe it was a big part of me winning the challenge. A couple extra today. points I'm going to give. I, I mean, that. you said it, not me. Beard model. So I think this speaks for itself. I don't really need to pitch you on anything. The gun kind of sells itself. It's These guys are going to tell you lasers and all this shit. How many issues did they have and how poorly did they do compared to this? I'm just going to leave it at that. Think this over. Okay. Nice pitch. Buy up. Yep. Waiting on you. Hey, Heidi. Man, what a day, huh? There was the milk, right? The there was that. Um, just yeah, wild times. Was. Wild the times. Plate that didn't do anything when yeah. it hit the ground. That's a dig in him. Yeah. I mean, me. <sighs> Have you ever been to Los Angeles? Yes. Good city, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Right. Um, 
there's a building in Los Angeles called the Nakatomi Tower. And it's a pretty legendary building because there was a hostage situation back in the day and there was a guy. And you know what's so crazy? He didn't have shoes or socks on. <laughs> yeah, bare feet. Bare feet, wound up, cut up. He's hobbled around Nakatomi Tower and he's just slaying terrorists, right? And the first guy he put in a sweatshirt much like this. Mm. I did this not so much to honor the terrorist, more so to honor the man who took the life of the terrorist. And I think you would be with me on this. I don't like terrorists. Don't like them. Never been a Bin Laden fan. That's just me. Don't like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like so, what's crazy is that John McClane had a gun just like this, okay? This is what's called, it's it's manufactured in Germany by a company called uh, Heckler & Koch. That gun itself was? Yeah. This oh, is no, manufactured that's, that's, that's on gun. HK that's, that's, machinery. That's, that's you guys right. all that. talked when I did it, so fuck you both because I'm going to no. do the same thing. No. Rude. Hey, Rude. by the way, there's kids watching, so maybe watch oh, your mouth. Sorry, kids. Yeah, okay, so that we don't get kicked off of YouTube. Um, this is an maybe. MP5K. The K stands for Kurt. It's just a short version, you know. Now, what's really crazy, if you were to pick a gun like this, not only are you receiving the gun, which is really cool, but you actually get a multiple, what I call a multiple optics system, much like Glock with their MOS, they call it modular optic. I call it multiple optic system, okay? So if you were like, whatever, there's an elk out there, right? And you're like, dude, gotta take down the elk, right? You just pop up to the ACOG here, right? Take the elk down, black bears, um, whatever it might be, okay? And then whatever, you've got this bedside, someone breaks into your house and you're like, oh shit, it's not at 300 yards. I don't want the ACOG, no problem. Flip that bitch, flip wow. the gun to 45 wow. degrees. Wow. He wait. cursed that. Flip, really, flip really the trump. HK wait, wait to, trump it there. to 45 degrees, right? Yeah. And, and now you're just, you now you're just yeah, sending it and you're moving and you're moving stuff. around corners and all that kind of stuff. So you could clear your house with a BB gun is what you're saying? 100%. Okay, got it. Okay. Yeah. Now there's one wow. other thing I just want to show you. I'm a big fan of offset anything, wow. anything that's offset, right? So I actually put two different offsets. Basically what we have here is an offset on top of an offset. And what's offset there is a laser. You will notice on the ground there, you're going to see a red laser beam. Wow. It's fading and flickering. It's so. not. If you watch it, I'm going to put it right on his foot there, right? Right now it could take out his right that's foot. That's impressive. Right. It's, his left foot. it's his left foot. To me, it's on the right side, though. Yeah, exactly. So it's I'm gonna so turn this. I'm gonna turn this off to say battery life, right? But oh, batteries. There's really cool things. It's a total ambidextrous gun. We have an ambidextrous safety, which I know you're not a lefty, but it's also like if you're in a firefight and your right arm gets right. hit, and now you got to switch shoulders. Like no problem, you go. can do this. Folding stock. No. Oh. Excellent as a backpack gun, right? Throw this in, no problem. You're going to the dentist office, whatever it might be. Cool. Throw this thing in, you're good to go. Uh, you can. It's very famous. HK, you slap, you slap the bolt. You slap that bitch. And then you send it home, right? Can so, I see it? Yeah. Demonstration, please. We can't slap it. Because that the was kind of wimpy. Let's. Yeah. Can we see a better demonstration? No, because the sight's in the way. The more ergonomic way is you load it and then you just take that thumb and you drop it. I if like you're it. actually operators, that's what you do. Yeah. It's it's bi biomechanical efficiency. They don't have that piece of military. <laughs> Right, all kinds of stuff. You know, you can take this out, holds a lot of rounds, all that kind of Army stuff. Rounds. Powered by a, a, something called a CO2, which, you know. Can you show her the CO2? Yeah, no, no CO2 like, for mine. Yeah, can, you see, mine. can we see the CO2? Just extra cash, money. Right? Yeah, it's in the, it's no, in the stock right now. see what size it is. It's... Okay. Yeah, right? I just want to know. So, look, I don't so really have a... changed often, right? The CO2? No, I have a box of them for like... I have like 50, 50 of them. Hurry up. But here's the thing, look, I'm not gonna come and hard sell you because I don't have to. These babies sell themselves, okay? <laughs> and like, you can go to any dime store or Walmart, like Christopher Blau here, and you can get a, what most people would assume, old fashioned technology versus this is the thing that rules the modern era of warfare. So, really? um, it's just food for thought. Um, Pinty, I'm not saying that, what I'm saying is if you chose a gun like this, I would probably get you a personal relationship with Pinty just because of some of the influence. Uh that I have there. So it's just food for thought, right? I could go on, it's really not necessary. I'm gonna turn it over to Jeffrey here and he's gonna bring over a gun that's gonna be very heavy. And you should also keep in mind the ethics of the presenter. It's just something I usually <laughs> so, recommend. First of all, remember CO2. It is very nice to meet you. Your pictures yeah. don't do your beauty justice. So you're an amazingly beautiful in person. So I, I, your pictures, I mean, obviously these guys, I'm surprised that you date men who are questionable in sexuality so <laughs> I'm surprised you have friends like that so long story short um, you're an American patriot do you know what 
model and manufacturer the U.S. Army has purchased for their new rifles and optics? Sig Power. Exactly. Do you know any U.S. military unit currently deploying 9mm subguns? Yeah. Exactly my point. So calm. Did you also know that? Yeah, so calm. Did you so know calm. that in the movie Die Hard, the pistol MP5 that was used mm -hmm. was not a K, it was an actually a pistol HK MP5. No stock, flat rear, not a side folder like that one. So, so the works. information you were given was incorrect, number one, right? Something so to consider. Let's talk about, we have a, a, a lever action pump little thing you got to twist every time. I got a little pump that Chris Brady uses at home. And it was a wood, heavy, kind of weird looking, cheap looking stock, right? Yeah. But when we had the six hour products, you know, you can also notice that it's much quieter than theirs, right? It's suppressed, of course. The optic is a steel one to four variable optic. So if you want distance, like if you had to support these young people running down the mountain from obviously hey, a black bear. Hey, put your safety on, ass. Right? This is my safety right here. Right? Well, so, your ring finger's about to end the end of my face. These people are running down the range, mm -hmm. right? If you had to turn and take out a black bear at distance in that ridge line, easily done with the one to four. What did I one talk about right? black bears? So my point being is, or brown bears, for that matter. We covered, you know, we covered honestly, that this would take down a grizzly, not just a simpy. I mean, really? brown bears are like puppies, yeah. right? Grizzlies are pretty big sized animals, Headshot right? Or Headshot anywhere? for sure all day. Now, if you didn't had to get, maybe the bear surprised you. Yeah. You would just simply turn, offset, and your red dot is right there. You can see it right there, right? So now it's simply versus doing all this crazy nonsense like Chris's gun, or it was really high offset left side setup for a left-handed individual. You being right-handed, this is ready to go out the box. I like how that's mounted and not zip tied. Exactly, right? Kind of Say for speaker. example, you run out of ammo with the black bear. You would simply grab a magazine, do attack reload, store your other magazine, and then now 30 more rounds in your rifle. Unlike 600. these two. Yeah, mind you. 600 rounds, but the you saw the performance today, you know? Yeah, I outshot. Results don't lie. Exactly. I mean, so this gun today had zero flaws, no issues whatsoever. And when we talk about CO2, CO2 right? Mm -hmm. We talk about CO2, that little, little CO2 he was talking about, the little CO2. Well, sometimes size matters wow. with CO2, right? <laughs> so size does matter with CO2. Yeah. And this shape attracts Jake's attention quite more than you and I would be, Jake, but it's a little Jake's a little bit, yours. yeah, a little bigger, <laughs> a little bigger in girth, yeah, length, etc. So, and we cover it to keep Jake's from drooling. So, at the end of the day, <laughs> six hour is by far the nation's weapon, and you should have one too. All right. Take that into consideration. Thank you. Nice presentation. Now, you've been presented with a, a host of different options and information. Merit and I would. I'm not steering you, but we're, I would just we're say... We're done. We're done presentation. The, the client now must choose. Globe America. 600. 1966. 1989. Okay. <laughs> exactly my point. Not American. No CO2. What? Is 600 hour not made in USA? 600. Are American troops overseas rounds. use this weapon? What is the no. MSRP on all your weapons? Does that matter? Yes. Price really? Does the quality. Mine was the most expensive today. No, it was not. Yes, it was. Mine was no. least expensive, but performed the best and holds the best. It didn't perform well. The best. It performed well, not the best. No CO2. I cannot stress enough. Over time, you're going to pay more than Heidi. Can I? Can I no refer CO2. your attention to the scoreboard over there? Um, who did rain in all three challenges outside of the trivia? Thank you. But who has CO2 and who doesn't? Look, really 600 rounds. You, you know, it's time. This is blessed by me. My final decision is... I'm going to take the H&K. Oh! Ah! Holy shit. <laughs> That's Jesus. what I would take. Okay, okay hold on. Second decision. Because we need a first, second, third here. <laughs> Jake's like, I don't care if I would. Um, second, for the sake of everything that this series is about, I'm going with the red bike. Oh, what? <laughs> oh my god. Classic. <laughs> it's classic. It's classic. Fuck that shit. It's classic. My... Bring it in. Thank you. Thank oh you. My there god. we go. That's thrilling. That's, That's thrilling. Like fucking commie fucking people. You That's really thrilling. Jesus commie. Christ. You have a commie gun. This is <laughs> fucking made in the USA. Okay, uh, scoreboard. Score let's board. go. Let's go. Let's All go. Right. Challenge number six. 25.
25. It's a little chilly out here, everyone. It looks like the set Jeff, of Mad I Max. I think you got the zero. Got zero. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Jake got 50. Big 50. Easy ahead now. We need a calculator. So he's at 195, Jake. No, you sure? Dude, 50 plus 25. What is that? 50 plus 20 is 75. So okay. 60. Plus 20. 95 at 100. 195. That sounds low. Yeah. 195. Jeff, what are you at? Uh, 150 plus 82. Is so that 232? 242. No, 232. 232. 232. 232. Okay. Yeah. She knows. Damn. And then uh, what are we at? 250. 300, 325. Okay, well, Sainara, thanks for the win. Yeah, Two times so champ. I just want to explain something what? to you. The rules of this challenge was each of us would buy a BB gun for $300 budget. We'd each buy our own gun. So Chris did not buy his own gun. Jake bought his rifle for him. So therefore, they purposely knew to sandbag the challenge because he bought a $20 rifle. So you as the audience look at me as the villain. I look for advantages. I don't outright cheat. These two <laughs> outright cheated today and That's took another win. You're talking about cheating, and the third party and the room we're going to rule going forward, we can't bring peanut gallery members to the challenges going forward. <laughs> That'll be the new rule. But it's thanks like for watching, guys. I'll be let well. you set up your own target Woo! next time. Hey, want to thank all my fans, Pistol Parlor, thanks for all the support, all my family, friends, everyone that supported me also. No one supported you. Everyone supports me. Hey, good two times, yeah. Thanks, bro. man. Thanks. Have you won? Oh, yeah. oh shit, you, you won, won yet. yet. <laughs> oh. Interesting. So I'm back. Wait, wait, is that a third place for Jake again? No. No. I'm at 205, actually. Yeah, so it is third. Yeah, however, twice. however, yeah. the judges have talked. Nope. Jeff was shooting pellets all day, and this is a BB gun challenge. It's